hi guys welcome to this video still on the topic of algebraic expressions now we are looking at multiplication of algebraic expressions so for the basic part we have an example like 4xy cubed times 9x squared y what we do over here is that the whole numbers multiplies whole numbers then we do indices for the variables so we just if they are multiplying we add their exponents so we are going to have 4 times 9 then times x, the first one is having exponent of 1, so 1 plus 2 times y to the power 3 plus 1. So answer becomes 36 x cubed y to the power 4. Second example, we have 8a cubed times negative 9b squared times 7a squared bc. So I'm going to have the whole numbers multiplying 8 times negative 9 times 7. Then we have a to the power 3 plus 2, we have b to the power 2 plus 1, then we have c. So the number is giving us negative 504, then we have a to the power 5, b to the power 3, then c. So answer becomes negative 504 a to the power 5, b cubed c. Third example, we have 7x times 5y times 2. So multiplying the numbers only, we have 7 times 5 times 2, then we have x also times y, giving us 70xy. Now let's look at another aspect, which is removing brackets. So we have an example to be 8 into brackets, 8 brackets will be in x minus 3. What we are going to do over here is, 8 is going to multiply each and every term in the bracket. So we're going to have 8 times x giving us 8x, then minus 8 times 3 giving us 24. Second example, the numbers outside the bracket are going to multiply each and every term in the brackets. So we are going to have 3 times a giving us 3a, minus 3 times 4 giving us 12, then minus 6 times 5 giving us 30a. Now negative is going to multiply the positive. And that is going to give us a negative. So we have 6 times 2 giving us 12. So grouping like times we have 3a minus 30a minus 12 minus 12. And this gives us negative 27a minus 24. So last example we have 7d plus bracket open 3d minus 6. Now students mostly make a mistake over here by multiplying 7d by the elements or the terms in the bracket which shouldn't be so because of the addition sign so it makes them two different terms so what i'm going to do over here is that there's a number one in front of the bracket so that is what is going to multiply through or mu multiply every term in the bracket so giving us 7d plus 1 times 3 giving us 3d then minus 1 times 6 giving us 6. 7d plus 3d gives us 10d minus 6. Let's have our last aspect here, multiplication of two binomials. So these are our two binomials. Question 1, x minus 3 multiplying x plus 2. What we do over here is that the first term in the first bracket is going to multiply the whole of the second bracket Likewise, the second term in the first bracket being same. So we're going to have x multiplying the other bracket x plus 2 minus 3 multiplying the other bracket x plus 2, giving us x times x, which is x squared, plus 2 times x times 2, giving us 2x, minus 3 times x, giving us 3x. Negative multiplying positive gives us negative. Then we have 3 times 2, giving us 6. This gives us x squared. We have positive 2x minus 3x, that gives us negative x, then minus 6. Let's have another example. So a multiplying 5a minus 2, then minus 4 also multiplying 5a minus 2. Then this is going to give us a times 5a, giving us 5a squared. We have minus a times 2, 2a. Minus 4 times 5a, giving us 20a. This time we have negative times negative, which is giving us a positive so 4 times 2 giving us 8 so this gives us 5a squared 
we have negative 2a minus 20a which is negative 22a then plus 8. thanks for watching this video please like comment and subscribe if you haven't see you in the next video bye bye